Good morning. It is a beautiful, overcast, cool, windy morning, and I still don't know how I cut my head. It happened last Saturday. I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway, today is a beautiful day, and I've been walking for about 20 minutes already, just thinking. And uh, the thing that, that came to mind today for me to talk about is the value of having things in your life that give you a reason to fight, to live, to die. And for a lot of people, that's family. But a lot of people like me, that's not enough. Now, I don't mean that in a cold, ugly way. I love my family dearly, and I'm not going to leave them. But many of you who follow me, you came to me, you found me, because you wanted to make a difference, or you wanted answers, or you wanted meaning that you weren't getting in your life before. And uh, I don't have a magic pill to sell you, but I do want to talk to you today about what, what I do and what maybe you can do to feel like you have a purpose, meaning, v value. Now, you guys know that I'm a practicing Christian, but I don't truly believe, I don't have the ability to feel, to cogitate faith. Like, that's not a real thing inside me. So... The religious stuff helps, but it doesn't give me what it gives other people, like Dave the Distributist, for example, or the Prudentialist. These men are true believers and real Christians. They believe it, and it's the, the core fundament of what gives them purpose and strength and all this other stuff. I'm not like that. And I think a lot of people that come to me and find me, they're not like that either. So what do I do? What, what is, what is the, the surrogate for God or faith in my life? What is it? That's a damn good question, and it's one that I've been trying to find for 30 years. The thing that gives me purpose and meaning is being connected to other people. And I don't just mean having friends that you play video games with or having you know work buddies that you occasionally go and have a drink with or shoot guns with or something. But being truly connected to other people. One of the things I do, I can't talk about because it's mostly private. I do with my cousin and a friend of his. I've referenced it before, how they do outreach to help uh, poor and needy kids and stuff. I help them occasionally. I like spending time with my cousin. I talk to my, my, uh, my other cousin uh, who lives in a bigger city not far away that I've mentioned before. We're not very close, but I like to talk to her because she's involved in education. She works in primary and secondary education. And uh, currently, she's wanting to leave public education for the, either the private sector or starting a, an education business of her own. That gives me a lot of meaning and purpose to know that I'm connected to people that are doing good things. It helps me know that it's not just internet warriors. It's not just people that talk and, and bitch about problems on 4chan and Twitter and shit. It makes me feel connected to people that are real and are doing real things and good works that not only can I influence with the go free method, with my wisdom, with my energy, but that I am personally connected to people that are working with youth, that are working with people in my immediate area, in my community. It feels good. And I can't have children. My husband never wanted children and we're never gonna have any. I'm already too old anyway, but if you can be connected to people that work with children or have children of your clan, of your race or ethnicity or whatever group is important to you, if you can be connected to people, like maybe a youth group if you're big into Christianity or, or some other kind of religion, maybe also true, uh, work with children, work with families, that gives me a lot of meaning when I get to help families or help people that help families and children. It makes me feel good because I feel like I'm not just talking to try to get clicks or donations, that I'm not just bitching about things in the ephemera of the internet. It makes me feel grounded in reality, that I know people by name and smell that I can go to and talk to, that know me and care about me, and in turn, I care about them and they talk to me about things. That means the world to me. I get immense fulfillment from that. Maybe you could be that way too. I don't know where you live or what it is that you're into or what your passions or hobbies are, but I promise you that if you have found my channel and you're listening to me and you want wisdom from me, you need to make your life about something besides you. And I know that that's difficult in the modern era because of how fractured and atomized and, 
and egotistical everything is. Everything wants you to care about your own identity, sexuality, gender identity, pornography, Star Wars, uh, video games, right? Like everything that is pumped into us wants us to care about hyper individualism and putting the ego of the self on the top, on the highest pedestal in your life's values. I don't think that's wise. I, I used to think that. I used to think of a more, in a more sort of Randian objectivist way about things, but I think that that's unhealthy because I lived selfishly for a lot of years. I tried to build selfishly around, around my personality, around my ego. And since I'm smart and charismatic, I got some success from that, but I didn't get fulfillment from that. It wasn't until I shifted gears in my late 20s and started to try to find something bigger and more important than just self. And that's when I started down the, the, the pipeline, so to speak, that led me to where I am now, like 15 years later. So, anyway, if you, if you have any family that you have become estranged to, maybe try to fix that. If there are people that do things where you live, that you think you might enjoy, whether it be a church group, uh, maybe you're pagan and there's a new Asatru community or something nearby, maybe you could go be a part of them. If there's a way that you can do volunteer work with people that are part of your group, your in-group, maybe do that. It's a good way to meet people that also care and do some good in the process. Giving people used clothes, helping people get food, helping people find jobs, get off the street. It's a good thing. Charity is good when it's not forced from government men with guns. I like the concept of charity and welfare. Those are good things. I just don't think that it's healthy when it's forced and the people that you're forced to help with violence, you don't know and you never see. But I do like charity and welfare. Those are good concepts. And of course, I don't mean welfare in the cancerous, you know, state level. I mean, actual welfare. So, be connected to other people is what I'm telling you. Even if it's just one day a month, that'll, be, that'll, that'll give you your soul and your mind a lot of positive energy to carry you. I think that the more that I detach from the internet, the more that I get involved with people in this area, um, not this immediate area, this is the rich people neighborhood, but the more that I get involved with people in my region here, in, in this little piece of East Tennessee where I live, the more that I feel like things are gonna be okay. The more I feel like no matter how bad it gets, even if the economy goes tits up, even if there's some stupid World War III because of power mongering anti-white oligarchs, even if that happens, I know I'm connected to real people that care, to real people that want to, to, to grow, to build, to, to create life and culture around me. And you need to be connected to that. You need to be a part of that if you found your way to me and you care about making a difference. Be connected, network with others. And you guys know that I enjoy the Go Free method and the success that it has with getting people to understand and feel the concepts about race and a bigger identity than themselves. And if you're not networking with people, if you're not part of a community, if you can't influence others, your ability to spread the curative contagion is diminished. And so just having this network of people, even if it's only three or four that you talk to, that you can influence, that's huge. The people that you are around regularly, even if it's like once a month or whatever, when you build a connection of friendship with people, they can't help but care about the things you say and the things you do. And if you, if you keep, if you keep it pristine, keep it Promethean, and you speak with truth and love and honesty about stopping anti-whiteism, about how Western people need an identity that we can share, a positive identity, and you're an exemplar of that, well, that's going to stick with them. And then they're going to spread it, hopefully to their children too. And so we have to, if you found your way to me and you're like me, then you're going to want to make a difference. But you're also going to need strength, energy, fulfillment. Because Lord knows we all do. And so you should find it in leaving your house, connecting with others, doing things that matter for your people, for your type, for your in-group, and cultivating real relationships with other people around positive values and positive actions. That helps me a lot. Even though I only do it once or twice a month with my cousins, 
it helps. It makes me feel good. If there was a religious group around here that I could find that I liked, I would probably be more active with churches and, and that kind of stuff. But the only church I've really ever been active with is my mother's. And since it went tits up and the old guy retired and the new preacher's kind of an anti-white, kind of a shit lib, she just stopped going and I stopped going too. So, But uh, we still, like, I visit, we have church uh, in, in her house every Sunday. So... Well, she puts on one of her favorite preacher channels, and we read the Bible and sing songs and stuff. So, at least that's something. So, again, that's just one or two other people, sometimes three. But it's something. It's something that is real and healthy and connects me to other people that are, that are real, that do good things. So, you need to cultivate that in your life if you want to make a difference. If you want to withstand whatever dark storm is coming for us, you have to get connected and be real. And you can't do that on the internet. You have to leave the internet. You have to be invested in a real community with real people. And we have to build that. And uh, we're going to wrap that up there. Because, as if by divine providence, the sun's starting to come out and poke its head out through the, uh, through the infinite gray clouds. Which is both beautiful, but also sad because I love it dark. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next Monday night at 6pm for more Discordant Dragons. God bless.